Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 13th, 14th, Thursday, Friday. So Thursday into Friday it is the 13th right now, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm here to do your daily reading, but remember that the timing is fluid. I've been finding that these readings resonate a week later. So sometimes three days later, sometimes a week later. It's kind of weird. So we're just going to see what comes up for energy today. May have been an uproar yesterday or in the near future. I'm not sure, but uh, good chance of it. It looks as though somebody has found some strength and courage. Through introspection. You know, that, that time, that taking that time to plan and to think about things. is rebuilding somebody's strength. That's what it looks like to me. Wisdom. Somebody has gained some wisdom here. Oops, I did it again. I forgot to turn the phone off. I will uh, do that in just a moment. Wow. We have some... Uh, mm -hmm. Strong energies, okay? We have some strong energies coming in. Or, or somebody's feeling very strong, put it that way. Feeling in their own power. I'm in my own power. And it's funny because before I started this reading, I saw the Ace of Swords. And that is power. Somebody has taken back their power, okay? So it looks like I'm taking back control. I'm taking back control of my life. Regaining my focus and my concentration out of uh, compassion for myself. Yeah, somebody is, has found the compassion to do what's right. To do what's right for them. Now. It looks as though somebody has seen the light. They've seen the light in a situation. Let me get the rest of the cards. Strong. Very strong. That's what I, I mean. It's very... A lot of strength has been gained through something introspection okay I mean I know I already said that but somebody's really focused I've, I've I'm focused on bringing success wow I knew that it was powerful it is powerful yeah it is it is absolutely powerful okay there's some powerful changes that are coming all right, you guys just saw me all shuffle. I know there'll be some ding dong that says, oh, you did that on purpose, but whatever. Okay, okay. So we have some very powerful energies, faded events that are happening. You know, blessings in disguise. Destiny is playing out. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your destiny. Okay, it is. Maybe whatever is happening or has happened has forced you to retreat forced you to think, forced you to figure out what what is going to be the best option, you know, what is going to allow structure in your life. I'll shut that off in just one moment. Alright, so.
So, we have happy independence here. Happy independence. It's, uh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> you know, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled with where I'm at. I'm very comfortable with where I'm at. I feel as though, um, I have regained the strength that has been lost through through some sort of breakdown. You know, somebody was probably forced into hermit mode. That's what it looks like to me. Somebody was forced into hermit mode, probably went through some heartache and suffering with his nine of swords reversed, went through some despair, but luckily this card is reversed. And if you notice, it's the only reversal. It's the only reversal. So this is really positive. Somebody's taking back their power. And happy. Very happy and content and abundant. Regain their focus. Regain their confidence and their courage and their strength. I mean, it's been regained after a loss. After, after being in hermit mode for a period of time. Now it looks as though... Um, abundance more even more abundance is coming your way because you have turned it around no longer living in that state of misery taking back control this is totally about power and control i'm taking back my life taking back my power taking the lead dominating the situation that's what this is Somebody has found the strength to, to take the lead and be the boss of their own life. And now there's a change of course because they have done so. It's exactly what this is. It's now, now I'm, in, I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy. I'm content. I'm at ease. Uh, you know, I'm grateful for the lessons that I've learned. I'm grateful for this breakdown. Seeing it in a new light. It's like a renewed sense of power and self-love. I mean, that's what this is. You know, somebody is starting to see some growth in themselves and really happy about how, how far they've come. And they see that, you know, there's still more growth to come and there is still more growth to come. There's still more rewards to come as your confidence is building, 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 because I can see that the confidence is building. And the tension and the regrets and the sorrow is dissipating. So congratulations for those of you that this is happening for. There is a change, of course. There's a new cycle. There's a new chapter that is beginning in which you had to find the strength to step into the unknown. You know, when you start a new chapter, you don't know what's going to happen. You have to have the strength to face your fears and allow this new chapter to start. So there is a there is a new chapter that is starting that is destined to start after a shitstorm. Okay, there's been a shitstorm or there's going to be. Okay, that forces uh, somebody to retreat. Okay, but this retreat brings enlightenment and strength. So congratulations. I mean, I see really. I mean, this is the independent person, the nine of nine of pentacles. This is as this is happy and abundance. I feel successful with who I am and I'm I'm very content with my success. I'm grateful. I mean, I'm this I'm good. I'm good with all the struggle I've been through. I realized that it, it gave me the strength that I needed to be this successful. The storm is over. There's probably even an increase in money because you have decided to take the lead and be the boss. Not let people take advantage of you and use you. So I just, I really feel like this is a time of, of a happy abundance, you know, happy abundance that has come through. has come after the storm, okay? Because there's been some there's been some sort of trouble. Some kind of trouble. 
okay? But it feels like the, the storm is absolutely over and, and contentment and happiness is back, okay? Um, and somebody is absolutely enjoying where they're at because they've, you know, found the strength to just let go of the, the misery. Let's get some clarifiers here. Um, somebody is getting creative to bring growth, you know, using their creative, um, well, I could say properties, but their creative ways, okay, to bring growth, to bring abundance into their life. And that's what's happening. Somebody is really, really taking the lead. I mean, really, really following their heart. There's, there's, there's some serious success. It's great. It's, it is. Somebody has been com become consciously aware that I have the power. <laughs> I have the power. I saw the Ace of Swords. I cut this deck before I started. I cut the deck like I've been doing in my readings. And I cut it to the Ace of Swords. Okay, and the Ace of Swords is power. It's power. It's the Sword of Power. Somebody has taken back their power. Congratulations. And now their fears are being faced. And destiny is bringing them. I mean, if you see what's mirroring, okay, destiny is bringing abundance. And money. Success. Enjoyment. Whatever happened in this tower moment needed to happen so that you could be more successful. There's a lot of wisdom here. Somebody has gained wisdom through this event that happened. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. There is wisdom. There's a lot of wisdom here. Kings are wise, okay? There's a lot of wisdom. Somebody has gained, and these are these are very wise. Somebody has gained, and this is for a man or a woman, gained a lot of wisdom through some event that changed their life for the better. Even though when the event happened, it didn't seem like it was going to be for the better. Because you needed to gain strength. You had to. It's one of the, our life lessons. It is. To face your fears. I mean, that's one of the life lessons. It truly is. So. Oh, my goodness. Birth of something new. Rebirth. I mean, what more can I say? Through the pain, you know, we think about birth. What's a birth? We know what a birth is. I know I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. To get to that birth, there's going to be some pain. You can't get to that birth without pain. But when you have that birth, <laughs> you receive a miracle. So, that's where we're at. Through the pain. The pain is over, right? For some of you. It's time for the birth. It's time for the miracle. It's time for the reward. Somebody has gone through a rebirth and they're, they're glowing, you know. Because they have allowed the rebirth, they realize what this was. Now they are glowing and they are becoming, you know, opportunities are, are chasing them. New opportunities are awaiting at every corner. So I feel like at this time somebody has gained a lot of strength through suffering. And now they have gone through some sort of rebirth. 
and refound their power. So congratulations. Do I see new love coming in? No. That's not what this reading is about. This reading is about you. Taking back your power. Finding your strength and your confidence and your courage. To follow your heart. And face pain head on. And allow, accept the pain, feel the pain, and accept it, and know that it's happened for a reason. And on the other side of that pain is a rebirth. That's what this reading is about. Because, you know, you really can't get into a love relationship until you've dealt with the pain. There's really no love cards in this reading because it's about you. It's about you. You need to let go of that idea that you need somebody to love you. You love you. And the opportunity will come running. So I see happy independence with this, with this card. Is this a love reading? No, it's not. This is a reading about strength and power and taking back, taking back your power and going through a rebirth. And feeling really happy with it, abundant. I mean, if you take a look at these two cards, I mean, look, look at her face. She's so happy where she's at. I'm good. I'm good. Look at what I've got. I mean, look at what I grew. Look at all the money in the basket. I mean, come on now. Look at even more. Success. Because somebody found their strength. To take charge. Out of self-love. Let's get one of these. Now, somebody could be thinking about or starting their own business, being their own boss, and that could be the case. Maybe somebody decided to quit their job and become their own boss, and now look at all the success. A lot of success here. A lot. Congratulations. If you have... If you're thinking about starting your own business and being your own boss, there's an opportunity for success, just saying. Absolutely. Opportunity for growth. Big time. Absolutely. Solitude. I said happy independence. It's funny. Let me just make sure we're good here. solitude. In silence, peace prevails. In silence, you'll find a depth of self-awareness as well as inner peace. This is not a time to venture forth with a new project or new cycle. This is a time to step back and be still. In quietude, you can seek and uncover your deepest inner truth. Seek solitude and all will be revealed. No matter what is happening around you, find serenity. Your, <laughs> oh boy. Your power is born 
in stillness. That's freaking amazing. I love it when they do this shit. Your power is born in stillness. I told you, that's what this is. Somebody has found their powers through introspection. I think that's what I said. <laughs> Sometimes the traveler is in such a hurry to reach the next peak that he gets separated from his spiritual source. However, when the traveler seat takes time alone, everything falls into perspective. So, today is a day, or this week, or whenever it happens for you, somebody is about to take back their power. Congratulations. I did it yesterday. Talk to you later.